there! August is here again, and with it marks the start of the games industry going into overdrive. Like usual, let's go through a bunch of games that are coming out this month, and as always, I found a shed load of free to play games that could be your new favourite pastime. So let's do this. <laughs> The biggest game of the month is the long-awaited return of Saints Row. In the past, there was two types of Saints Row game, the semi-serious GTA-inspired originals and the completely ridiculous superhero sandbox that we explored in Saints Row 4. After playing a few hours, it's clear to see that 2022 Saints Row is more like the original games. Less bombastic, but just as over the top as always. We play as the boss and take to the streets to build a criminal empire big enough to take down all our competitors. Saints Row is littered with constant humour and although some jokes are a bit cringy, it's the same Saints Row vibe as always. I've played about 4 hours so far and can confirm the missions keep getting crazier and crazier, starting off from your first decision to decide how big your package is. Saints Row definitely does not take itself too seriously, so if you need a different take on the GTA formula, Saints Row is reborn on August 23rd on Playstations 4 and 5, the Xboxes and PC. Spider-Man 2 is confirmed to be arriving next year, 2023, and Sony are finally ready to let Peter's first adventure jump platforms. Spider-Man Remastered is coming to the PC. The story-driven game from 2018 and all its DLC will be available to PC players, and there's a bit of me that can't wait to see what can be achieved visually on a high-end PC. 4K, ray traced, super sampling, and ultra widescreen enabled. It's gonna be epic. The story follows Peter as he faces Doc Ock, Electro, Rhino, Taskmaster, Scorpion, Mr. Negative, and tons more. The DLC even brings us the super forward Black Cat. The slick swinging, combo spinning, ant loving, face changing Spider Man Remastered comes to PC on August 12th. And for the people who played it years ago, this means new Spider Man 2 info will be coming soon. This game may be seen as a little niche. Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed, yet another third person action game this month, but unlike the others, we can body snatch in this one. Destroy All Humans 2 was first released in 2006, and Reprobed is the remake dragging the visuals and the control schemes 15 plus years forward. As the name suggests, Destroy All Humans sees an alien race come to Earth and take over by any means necessary. Set 10 years after the first game in 1969, in which the US has fallen. We play as Crypto, disguised as the President of the USA, who blames Russia for all the attacks. Genius. The gameplay is all about destruction, whether that's in the air, on foot, or using military vehicles, with some crazy weapons to harness too. Oh, and it also supports co-op play, allowing you to take over the world with a friend by your side. Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed is a reduced price game, retailing at $40, 40 euros, which is £35 here in the UK. August the 30th on PS5, Xbox Series and PC. Okie dokie, free game fam, let's do this. Check out the biggest game of the month that doesn't cost you anything, Rumbleverse. Originally scheduled to release in February, Rumbleverse was taken away for extra polish to be applied, and now it's ready for its full release. I put together a preview last month, but I'll try to describe the game briefly. Battle Royale and WWE combine into one game. We first fire ourselves onto the island with basic moves mastered. We then pick up other moves in-game by reading books left by legendary wrestlers. I'm sure I've seen a rock bottom or two and a spinning pile driver as well. Rumbleverse has super simple controls. The strategy is basically rock, paper, scissors, replaced with strike, block and grapple. Strikes can be blocked, but grapples cannot be blocked. And if one player presses grapple and the other player presses strike, the strike will always win. Easy to pick up, almost impossible to master. Rumbleverse is crammed with unlockable cosmetics, and as it's a free-to-play game, expect paid cosmetics to target your wallet. Rumbleverse releases on August 11th on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. More free games, you say? Okay, how about Century Age of Ashes? A multiplayer dragon battle game. We are promised intense 3 vs 3 and 6 on 6 fast-paced aerial battles unleashing hell from above. The other game modes include Gates of Fire, kinda like a capture the flag on dragons, Spoils of War, a mode which asks teams to steal each other's gold and protect their own, and Survival, where 8 players go at it in a free-for-all. Century Age of Ashes gives us 4 classes of Dragon Rider to choose from, each with their own unique abilities, from the stealthy phantom hiding traps away, 
to the Storm Razor, harnessing the power of thunder and lightning. Just like Rumbleverse, this game tries to get your money through unlocks and cosmetics, and there's a bump in the road. Both the PlayStation and Xbox versions of Age of Ashes were due to be released in July, yet only PC and Xbox can play the game right now. That's because the PlayStation version was delayed, which usually means it didn't pass certification. The Age of Ashes team were quick to promise that the game would still release on PlayStation over the summer, and August is the last full month for that to happen. So keep an eye out for it if you're on PlayStation, or play it right now if you're on PC and Xbox. Another free game is from Capcom, and it's something for people who like retro games. If you hate old games, yeah, you best skip over this one. Recently, the second Capcom Arcade Stadium released with a bunch of new, well, not new, extremely old retro games to buy. They're only a few dollars each. The thing is, at completely random times, Capcom will make games free to keep forever if you download them in time. If you've been watching these videos over the last year, you already have Street Fighter 2, Ghosts and Ghouls, 1942, Command and Final Fight all for free. Right now Capcom Arcade Stadium 2 has a free game built in if you should download it. It's a 1984 game, Sun Sun, a side-scrolling platformer that couldn't look more 80s if it tried. It's not a WoW game, but I'll keep letting you know when other retro classics go free. A quick note about another free game we looked at last month, Multiverses, a take on Super Smash Bros. I got a crazy amount of abuse in the comments and in my Twitter DMs because people say the game isn't free to play. So this is a quick public service announcement to put things to rest. Multiverses has its free to play soft launch on July 26th. That's tomorrow if you're watching when I release this video. The reason the game is priced in the store is for special editions, early editions. So if you don't want to pay for the game, just hold on tight. It's coming for free very soon. It's common practice to have paid early access, especially for games which are competitive. Okay, let's transition away from free to play. Have you seen Rollerdrome? Rollerdrome is a third person action shooter that combines high octane gun fu with movement you'd see in something like a Tony Hawk game. We skate around the location building up a combo of tricks while simultaneously fighting foes without making a single false move, moving in and out of slow motion. The cell shaded art style seems to be something which either attracts players or scares them away. What do you reckon? Those on PS Plus with premium can play the game for a day for free as part of a trial program. As I'm writing this, the price hasn't been confirmed by PlayStation yet, but on the Steam page, Rollerdrome is priced at $20 for the first two weeks, and then it goes back up to $30 afterwards. Back in 2018, the Two Point Hospital sim game released, allowing us to build and run our own hospital and cure patients of some weird and wonderful made up illnesses. Well, there's another Two Point game arriving, Two Point Campus. We are the Dean of an educational establishment and are tasked with getting the younglings through to their graduation. Two Point Campus has you hiring and firing the staff, deciding what courses are available and trying to desperately boost morale of the students who regret their life choices. Campus is a reduced priced game retailing at 40 euros, 40 dollars, which is 30 quid here in the UK. So if you want to be the headmaster, look out for it on August 9th on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch and PC. Let's give a quick nod to some other games releasing in August. Thymesia, a Soulsborne inspired RPG releasing on August 9th on PS5, Xbox Series and PC. Is it Thymesia or Thymesia? Anyway, if you like Soulsborne games, this one looks good. If you want to hunt digital prey in a realistic way, you should look out for The Way of the Hunter on August 16th, which really doubles down on realism, driving to your prey's location, tracking them from afar, and then finally taking them out to get your dinner. And finally, if you need a fix of Ninja Turtles, the TMNT, the Cowabunga collection, releases on August 30th. It includes a smorgasbord of classics from the SNES, Game Boy, Genesis and Arcade eras. Retro gamers of the world unite. So there's a whole bunch of games dropping in August. What are you playing? I'm hoping to see many of you trying Multiverses and Rumbleverse. I'm Adam, you're awesome. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. <laughs>